Pope Francis introduced a wonderfully challenging encyclical to the worldwide audience, and specifically to the Christian Catholic Church. And what he is challenging everyone to do is to be attentive to creation and be as attentive as we can to one another, challenging ourselves to do more for other people and to do more for the environment. This encyclical is called Laudato Si. Laudato Si is based on Francis of Assisi's Canticle of Creation. This Canticle of Creation, one of Francis's, the saints, most popular pieces of writing that lives on more than 800 years after his death, this is what Pope Francis is tying in very directly to the significance of his encyclical. And what he's challenging each one of us to do in the world is to be more attentive to creation, but even more attentive to one another. And that, my friends, is a dramatic challenge. Having said that, the inspired piece of this writing has to do with the creation language that's so powerful in the words that Francis penned so many years ago. The words begin, most high, all-powerful, good Lord. Yours are the praises, the glory, the honor, and all blessing. To you alone, most high, do they belong. And no human is worthy to mention your name. Francis continues, Praised be you, my Lord, for all your creatures, especially Sir Brother Son, who is the day and through whom you give us light. And he is beautiful and radiant with great splendor and bears a likeness to you, most high one. Francis's poetry continues as he refers to the other elements of creation. He refers to the moon as sister. He refers to the wind as his brother. He refers to the water as his sister, to fire as his brother. But most importantly, what Francis is trying to say is to be so attentive to this language that we need to change our way of living to allow for creation and the environment to be even more successful. What can we do in our part of the world? What could you do individually to respond to the Pope's challenge in this encyclical? And what could you do? What could we do to respond to Francis of Assisi's writing? Recently, I made a trip to Italy, and one of the stops that we made was a wonderful island just off the coast of Venice. The island was called San Francesco del Deserto, and it's a small island, four friars living there, and visited by more than 26,000 visitors on a given year. Now, what was tremendously inspiring about the opportunity to be on this island, meet the friars, and understand the Franciscan history, was Francis was here for some period of time when he returned from the Holy Land on his way back to uh, Assisi. And what uh, was special was the Canticle of Creation was written in Italian and interspersed throughout this island in beautiful sculptures underscoring the challenge that Francis penned so many years ago. What do we do to become more closely associated with God's world and God's creation? How could we be in a position where we more strongly honor and appreciate our brothers and sisters? I'd like to suggest that maybe God is calling you to be inspired by Francis of Assisi. And the need that we have in this day and age, as pointed out by Pope Francis himself, how could you respond best to your brothers and sisters? So I ask this very important question. Is God calling you to be a Franciscan friar?